So the next thing I'm going to do is I get to make a bug in my jar. So I have to decide what bug I'm going to make first. And I think for this one, I am going to make a caterpillar. A caterpillar. So I'm going to start and I'm going to make the furry edge of the caterpillar because it's kind of furry so it's going to go zigzag lines. It goes up and over and zigzag lines. And I can kind of decide what shape my caterpillar is going to be and just do zigzag lines. Kind of like a furry little caterpillar. I did a zigzag line, little tiny zigzags to look like furry edge. And then I'm going to draw the bottom of my caterpillar. It's going to come along. And it can be a little furry, but it doesn't have to be quite as furry as the top. So it's going to be squiggly a little bit. It's going to go right over and connect the bottom of that. Just like that. And then I can make little feet on my caterpillar if I want to. They have just little teeny tiny feet all the way along the bottom. I'm just making little rectangles to make those feet on the bottom. Little teeny tiny feet all the way across. And then sometimes they have little antennas or things like that. If you want to add extra little details to your caterpillar, you can decide what you want it to look like. And then right now my caterpillar is floating in the air, but caterpillars don't float. <laughs> so we're going to make something for our caterpillar to go on. I'm going to make mine on a stick. You can decide if you want it on a leaf or something. But I'm going to draw my stick and I'm going to draw it coming over here. But I know this is the edge of my jar so it can't go outside the edge of the jar because the stick wouldn't go through. So I'm going to make a stick and it's leaning against the side of that jar. And I'm going to make it come down and it's going to kind of curve and it's going to touch the bottom but it's not going to go outside the jar. So I'm going to draw a nice stick. And then I'm going to make a little branch coming out this way too because it looks like it's kind of turning. I'm going to draw my stick so it comes out this way too. Again, you can do whatever you want for this. You don't have to do the same thing as me. I'm just drawing my bug in a jar but you can draw whatever you want for your bug in your jar. And then I have my my bug and I want to add hmm I want to add some things for it to eat because my bug isn't going to live very long if I leave it like this, right? So I'm going to take and I'm going to add I'm going to add a leaf. Caterpillars like leaves. So I'm going to add a leaf in the bottom of my jar. And the leaf's kind of behind the stick. Or maybe I'm going to make it coming right off that stick. Make that leaf just like that. Maybe I'll make another leaf over here, kind of sticking off of this side. And then I want to make sure my caterpillar can live and I don't want it, to, I, it has to have air to live so I'm going to make some little holes in the top so we can breathe. And then I have a nice bug in a jar.